it's Emilio here and today I want to make a video about juggling. I want to cover why I juggle, the benefits that juggling brings to my life and, and why I was able to maintain this habit for the last few months okay during lockdown during COVID. So for me juggling it's a very nice activity that I can do pretty much anywhere. It's a good challenge to keep my mind open. It's a good challenge to keep my coordination always uh, entertained and it's something that I can do also at home. So during uh, COVID lockdown here in Canada, winters are really cold, uh, couldn't go to the gym, couldn't do the activities that I normally do, so it was a very depressing time for me and juggling was an activity that helped me stay sane. Okay, so I was able back in the day to juggle three balls more or less, but now I'm all, I can do four balls and I'm learning how to do five now. So with practice and patience, you can get there too. So some of the tips that I would recommend for those who are getting started, uh, and first of all, you don't need to spend money buying regular balls. I learned how to juggle up to four balls before I invested in this set. So this is basically three, uh, two sets of three balls, like one set and two sets. And I took six because I knew I would need four, five, and hopefully six in the future. So basically the importance here is that you get started and that you build your practice, you build your consistency, okay? So you can juggle with pretty much anything, with socks, with any kind of ball, tennis balls, anything that you have handy at home, it's, it's okay to juggle those things. And juggling different things that are different textures, different weights, it's super helpful to get used to the different ways of, uh, of juggling things that are different, different weight, different texture. It makes your coordination way better. You become faster and you become more resilient so that when you have a nice juggling set, you are gonna find it way, way easier. So I have juggled oranges, lemons, socks, uh, shoes, uh, stones, pretty much anything, right? With stones, So the way to, to get started, like uh, if you cannot do three balls, you can get started with two and then you just throw them hand by hand like this. Just make it simple. If you are not good at catching balls, just start doing something simple like this and then throw it higher and higher and then get good at catching them. And then once you have two balls, you can do this, pass them from hand to hand. You can get practice to do this too if you want. This is a bit more complicated. Okay, but you can do this and then you can do this with the other hand too. Okay, and then you can get started with three and then this is how it looks like. And then you can do different patterns. Three balls is super fun. Let me show you a few things here. And it's okay to fail. It's okay to make mistakes. That's how you learn making mistakes. Okay, but you can do fun stuff like this, like this. Like this. And then you can use any part of your body like this. And I can try the double knee. Yeah, and then I can try the double knee with, see? And you can keep going. So guys, you can do, you can do a lot of fun stuff with just three balls. 
and then once you get used to doing the three balls and I normally walk around the home just juggling three balls that's how I got better I just had them very handy it was very convenient visually there so that every day I was reminded of practicing a little bit you don't have to do hours a day just a few minutes every day is enough to build your practice but just try to walk at home just doing three balls no? So try to get better at just move around and just keep juggling those balls and then you will become really good really fast okay once you are you master the three balls and you're ready to move to four so three balls they alternate hands four balls they will remain like on the same hand they won't cross okay so you have to get good at juggling two balls like this and then you have to do the same with the left hand Okay, you have to get really good at juggling the balls however you like. And then once you do both hands, you just click them at the same time, right? And that's how it looks like for four balls. Okay? So one hand. Left hand. And then together. Remember, it's okay to fail. You have to fail a lot of times to become good at this. Okay? You need to fail, guys. Failing is the way to, to learn, okay? So don't be afraid of failing. Uh, you have to be okay to let, let them go. And it took me probably a few weeks to like learn how to do this properly. Another few weeks to learn how to do this with my left hand. And clicking them together was very difficult. Okay? So it's gonna take a little bit of time. Just get used to throwing them and it will be messy. You will know what you are doing. It's okay. The brain needs to fail and fail and fail until you become better. And then one day it's going to click and you will do it a couple of times. You will just do like, hey, I throw four balls and I catch them. What, what happened there? And then you will become better and better at doing it, right? Until your consistency is there. And then you can correct and then you can move around doing four balls, like this. Sorry, I have the sun in front of me. But you get the idea. Like, the more you practice, the more you practice, the more solid your throws will become. And the secret to doing four is that you consistently throw the ball back at your hand, right? You don't have to move around to get the ball because when you have both hands doing it at the same time, you will miss them. So now I'm doing three ball, uh, five balls. And then how that looks like, I will have three balls here and two balls here. And I have to throw these balls to this hand and these two to this one. Right now it looks really messy and I, don't, I cannot really do it very well yet. But there are a few exercises that I've been practicing for like weeks now. And now it's kind of clicking again. So this is how it looks like. Oh, almost. You see, but I throw them out. Almost. See, I got them in the air. So some, some of the exercises that I've been doing is three balls, and then I throw them to this hand. And then to this hand. And then you have to get really good and comfortable uh, throwing the balls and catching them comfortably in one hand okay so when I have three balls I throw this one first this one second and this one last so it looks like this and I catch them in the inverse order okay then once you become good at that then another exercise is to do three balls very high and clap like this because that pause that's gonna be the time that you need for the for the for the two balls you see so once you can consistently do this you're gonna become better at the timing and then doing the five balls 
when you practice those exercises a lot, then you will come here and then you will try and throw this alternating and then hopefully you will start catching them properly. So this is why I juggle, this is what I have learned so far. Uh, it's so much fun, it's something that has helped my mental health a lot. Uh, it's something fun to do with friends. It's an excuse for me to come to places like this and practice. And I came with my uh, electric skateboard today, for example. It's just coming here with the skateboard is so much fun. I have the slack line in my backpack. My goal is to learn how to juggle on the slack line too. So this is why I try to do things that are playful because it makes my life more fun. When I'm with my daughter Eva, I can go to the park and I can practice my juggling. And then I am having fun, she's having fun, and other people are watching me and they get inspired to try and then I, I, get the, I give them the balls and then they practice and I show them a few tricks and maybe someday I find someone that is better than me and then they can teach me stuff but the way I have learned is to by going to YouTube and Skillshare and watching classes from people from professional like jugglers and then they teach you all the step by step everything is online guys for free you can just go to YouTube and there are different places different channels that you can visit just pick the one that you like just put in there how to juggle three balls how to juggle four balls how to juggle five six seven whatever how many balls you want to learn and just get inspired by other people who can do it and then get practicing okay and this is the video i wanted to do today i hope you liked it and now i'm gonna get practicing okay have a beautiful day guys adios